Hi guys, welcome to the Fight Dash channel. WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury said that after the mandatory defense with Zeliana White, he is going to fight with the Korean WBA, WBO and IBF title holder Alexander Usyk. You can only guess an opponent that you will fight in the next fight. Next, I will fight with Zillian White, and then there is a little sucker named Usyk. I will tear him up like an ace in a hot water bottle. He is a middleweight. I will pack it up and send it back to middleweight. That's what I'm going to do. Joshua is a big and old bodybuilder, worthless to him, so I don't want to hear how good Usyk is. Let him fight with a real heavyweight. He was fighting an old journeyman, Jerry Chisora, and it was a life and death battle. Then he got into a fight with a bodybuilder, not even a boxer, and it was also a deadly fight. Until Usyk fights a real fighter, he cannot call himself a champion. All roads lead to me, the Gypsy King. If he can beat me, then I will say he is a good guy. But if not, then I will say that he is an insignificant, Tyson Fury told the national news. It should be noted that Alexander Usyk has yet to have a rematch with Anthony Joshua from whom he took away the championship titles in September last year. It is expected that the Fury White fight will take place in April, and the rematch of Usyk with Joshua will take place in May. WBC heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury is confident that he will have no problems in a fight with the mandatory challenger for his title, Dillian White. According to the Gypsy King, he doesn't think about what style he will fight with White, and is going to improvise directly during the fight. I don't know how I'm going to fight White. Let's see how I feel during the fight. Because to tell the truth, I don't pay much attention to these bumps. I can definitely beat Dillian White in any style. Even if I put one hand behind my back and I lift one leg, I will still beat him, Tyson said. It is expected that the Tyson Fury Dillian White fight will take place at the end of April in the United Kingdom. Early Fury's sub promoter Frank Warren won the promotional bidding for the right to arrange this fight, but it has not yet been officially announced. As you heard, the promoter of former world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua said that his world is confident in his ability to defeat WBA, WBO and IBF title holder Alexander Usyk in their rematch. He just felt that he could outbox Usyk. Everyone told him, don't try to outbox this guy, you probably won't success, but for some reason Joshua tried to do it. It's easy to say, they say, fly forward and fight recklessly, but you have to act competently. Everyone who saw the first fight will say that Joshua needs to put more pressure on Usyk, Alexander is great, his footwork, IQ and everything else. At some time, if you start rushing forward and being reckless, you can success, but this pressure must be smart. After 12 rounds with Usyk, Joshua feels he can beat him. He knows what he needs to do, but he still needs to implement in battle, Hiron said. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then you receive notification about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard, absolutely every day, and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. You are my support. Thank you so much. The WBC heavyweight title holder Tyson Fury doesn't believe that Anthony Joshua will be able to defeat the WBA, WBO and IBF world champion Alexander Usyk in a rematch. Usyk will beat Joshua again in a rematch. Because Anthony is a bum. He doesn't know how to fight. He was exposed. He is a crossfit bum. And that's all I can say, Tyson told the national news. Recall that the first fight of Usyk with Joshua took place in September last year and ended with an expected victory of the Ukrainian boxer by unanimous decision of the judges. Now the boxing teams are coordinating a rematch, which should take place in May or June. Until recently, Fury's promoters tried 
Y2 negotiated with Joshua about compensation in order to arrange unification with Usyk, but in the end the negotiations broke down. Ukrainian heavyweight Viktor Wichrist shared his opinion about a potential unification match of his compatriot Alexander Usyk against the formidable heavyweight from the British Tyson Fury. In the fight between Usyk and Fury, of course, I will give my preference to Alexander Usyk. I think he will be able to adapt to the huge Fury and just beat him as a boxer. At the same time, the 29-year-old Wichrist himself would not mind trying himself in the ring with such an opponent as Fury, but he doesn't feel the desire to fight with Usyk. If I had the opportunity to choose from the tops, then, of course, I would like to try my hand against Tyson Fury. Alexander Usyk, in my opinion, is better than Fury, but he is my countryman, and he has great respect for him as an athlete and a person who glorifies our country. Viktor Wichery said in an interview. WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury predicts that he will win an early victory in a fight with the mandatory challenger for his title, Dillian White. We will arrange a fight with White. Frank Warren won the promotional beating and now we are going to knock Dillian out. White poses no treat. This guy is a bum. This fight don't attract me anymore. None of them. No, for me it's just boxing matches. Even the fight with Wilder didn't excite me. Nowadays it's just boxing matches. I don't have a specific reason why I'm fighting. I do it because I can and it's easy. That's all. I'm not particularly interested in how wide is set up there. If I run into him, he won't even try to hit back. He's a coward and I don't have time for cowards. Everything will be easy. I will knock him out very easily. I will hit him with my bazooka. And that's the end of it, Tyson told the national news. The head of the promotional company Queensbury Promotions, Frank Warren, who represents the interest of the WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, appealed to the mandatory challenger for the title of his war, Dillian White, asking him to sign a contract. According to Warren, Dillian will receive £6 million of guaranteed fee and another four in case of victory, which is very good conditions for the applicant. We have already done everything in our power, now it's up to them. Dillian moaned that he had been waiting for a very long time, now there was a delay on his part. He has a chance to compete with the world title and at some time receive a record fee in his career, as well as a bonus of 4 million pounds in case of victory. So go ahead, claims for Eddie Hearn, it's all nonsense. The contract was approved by the WBC and sent to them. That's why wise people have to send him back. The ball is on their side. It's their turn now. There shouldn't be any problems. We won the tender and drew up a standard WBC contract. Now both boxers have to sign it. What else can we agree on? Says Warren. As you hear, our motor of former world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua promises that soon his word will reveal the interview about the perturbations in the coaching staff after the defeat of the Korean WBA, WBO and IBA world champion Alexander Usyk. Hearn claims that Joshua will tell about all the challenges immediately after he starts working in the training camp on the eve of the rematch with the Ukrainian boxer. I think Joshua will be preparing in the United Kingdom, but with the new members of the coaching staff, we plan to have a fight with Usyk in May. As soon as Joshua starts training camp, I think he and the team will make an announcement about the new members of the coaching staff. He will be ready to fight with Usyk and May, he said in an interview. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel.